So what we discussed in the previous class, sandboxes. sandboxes. So what is a sandbox? It is an environment where we develop the requirements. Okay. So, so let's have a quick recall from the beginning session. So what is Salesforce? Salesforce is a company that provides cloud services on rental basis. So what are the services that was provided by Salesforce? Salesforce has a service plan. Software. So these are the three services that was provided by Salesforce. So under software as service, we get the CRM, the ready-made software, we can make use of it and we can pay it. So platform as service, we get the platform where we customize our application. So in the infrastructure as service, we get some infrastructure. That means we get some storage and security, all these configurations. Okay. So in which region Salesforce have the data centers? North America, Europe, and Asian Pacific. In those data centers, they have many servers. In that particular servers, they allocate some memory for us. Okay. So that's about first session. And uh, the second session is regarding sandboxes. Sandboxes are nothing but the environment where we develop the requirements. Okay. First, a company, a client, that means uh, the business owner will get the edition from Salesforce. It's might, it might be unlimited edition or essential edition and enterprise edition. Okay. Whatever. So, have you gone through these editions? What are the features they provide? Have you seen? Yeah? Yes or no? No. Okay. Today, people go through it. And, uh, okay. If the business owner gets that particular edition from the sales force and they'll give that credentials to the some IT company, IT, IT consultancy, consultancy or uh, company that provides IT services. They'll give that credentials to that particular uh, company. In that company, we have Salesforce team. In the team, we have business analyst and Salesforce architects who gets the requirements from the business owner. Okay, first they get the uh, requirements from the, from the business owner and they'll discuss with the managers that the requirement can be fulfilled with the Salesforce or not. That way, they'll discuss and if it, if it gets fulfilled with the Salesforce, they'll make it as a user story and that particular user story will be assigned to the developer, Salesforce developer. That means you are the developer. Okay. So that requirement you have to do and you have to do it in that particular org means the production instance, production, in the production you do that requirement, right? Is it, is that right? Yeah. So where we do that requirement? Sandbox. So we do the requirements. We do that requirements in the sandbox. First, we develop the requirement in the sandbox. Okay. So from where we can create the sandboxes? From production. From production, we can create the sandboxes. Okay. So in that particular developer sandbox, developers will develop that particular requirement and after uh, unit testing, they will deploy that particular uh, requirement into testing sandbox, testing nothing but QA, quality analysis sandbox. And from there, after testing, it will deploy to the UAT and after uh, accepting the user acceptance, it will deploy to the staging sandbox. In the staging sandbox, it is a backup of production. The data, everything in the production will be same as in this particular staging sandbox and it will be deployed to the production. So it will be in your live application. So the customers will make use of it. Customers are nothing but? Users. Who are the users? users. Company employees. Okay. That's, that's about today's session. So in today's session, we discuss about business process. Business process. So, so how the uh, 
business actually happen in the real time so the business happen in the real time so let's say can someone please close the door let's say a dell company which manufactures electronics like uh, laptops keyboards mouse all these things okay they also manufacture desktops okay so dell company manufactures they want to launch a new product let's say they want to launch a new product so everyone familiar with the dell so it is a branded thing so everyone might be know, knowing about it know, knowing about that particular company so they want to launch a new product like a new laptop with uh, new features okay so and they want to what is the first thing they do after launching the product what is the first thing they do sales directly sales will happen promotion they want to promote it they want to first promote it let's say how they can promote in how many ways they can promote traditional market ads posters social media digital marketing audience digital marketing audience then what kind of uh, advertisement what kind of promotion they can do traditional market sorry traditional marketing traditional marketing okay let's say uh, they they might uh, they want to they can promote in many ways okay so first they promote it okay uh, also they can keep a stall like okay they can keep stalls in a crowded area in a crowded uh, are people uh, people uh, in which uh, the places where uh, uh, crowd might be heavy in those places they install some stalls let's say they install a stall let's say they install a stall in a crowded area like in your midpet okay so in that stall they have a they want to they have to display the their products they have to display those their products like the new laptop which they have launched that product they will display it for customer customers purpose for display purpose okay and they also have in this stall they also have one one or two representatives sales representatives okay okay so by seeing this stall one of the person visit the stall okay they they visited this stall first they visit the stall and they ask to uh, show me that uh, particular product which they recently which they recently launched and what are the features in that particular uh, laptop we have they are they ask uh, this sales representative so this sales representative shows those things and finally this sales representative give a form to that particular uh, person who reached their star okay so in that form they will collect the data of the particular person okay so the the person who the person who visited this star and showed some interest on the product will be called as a lead will be called as a lead okay in this in this process the first process they did the campaign okay this all this process is nothing but a campaign okay from this campaign they get some leads okay so this campaign and leads this all the terminology in salesforce we call them as a objects we call them as a objects okay objects are nothing but objects are nothing but objects are nothing but table no tables objects are nothing but tables to store to store the data you know excel sheet you know excel sheet 
See, how can we collect the data from a table in a table? In rows and columns. In, and columns. in columns, we 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 have the we have the data, or in rows we have the data. In rows we have the data. In columns, so what kind of data you want to take from the person or any kind of uh, information? So that will be in the columns. So. So just remember, a object is a kind of table. So in your complete Salesforce career, you work on these objects only. Okay. So let's say name, phone number, email, So, object is nothing but a table where we store the data. Okay. So, I said this promotions will come under campaign object. Campaign object. So, how you do the promotions will be stored in the campaign object. Okay. In sales, we store that in a campaign object. Okay. Then, the person, the person who shows the is going to mute. A person, a person who shows interest on the product by seeing this campaign, that person is nothing but lead. So we store the data of the person in a lead object. Okay, in the lead object. This person is nothing but a lead for your business. For your business, your business is nothing but Dell. Dell is your company. So we need the promotion first. It will be comes under campaign. After doing the campaign, we get a lead. Okay. So he just showed the interest. Okay. His data has been collected. That will be stored in the lead object. Okay. That will be stored in the lead object. Okay. After collecting his data, so he went to his home and uh, th this star also has been removed. And after three days, this uh, the person who collects this data, his data, that means leads data. Okay. The person who collects that, oh, those lead data, he calls to that person. That means uh, your uh, Dell company have some telecallers. By take, by collecting the data from these leads, they'll call to that particular leads. Okay. You showed some interest on our product. Are you able to buy the product or not? Okay. After three days or two days, they'll call like that. Okay. So this person responds, if, if he responds uh, well, so if he want to really buy the product, then he visits, uh, visits the Dell company, Dell uh, near showroom, nearby showroom, and he brought the product. After, brought, after buying the product, he will be converted into three ways. He'll be converted into three ways. In Salesforce, you will be converted into three ways. Okay. So after buying the product, he will be our customer. He will be the customer to Dell. Before that, he is the he is just lead. Okay. Until he, he brought the product, he will be lead. After, after buying the product only, he is our customer. So he will be converted into three ways in Salesforce. Okay, lead can be converted into three ways. This is an important interview question. Okay. In how many ways a lead gets converted in Salesforce? Account. Contact. Opportunity. Okay. Okay. Any doubts up here? No doubts. Clear. So, after converting the lead, it gets converted into three ways. That is account, contact, opportunity. This account is an object in the Salesforce. This contact is also an object in the Salesforce. And this opportunity is also an object in the Salesforce. What is an object? 
acceptable to store the data. Okay. So in our own, we collect the company details of the customer. Company details. So where he works, what is his uh, company's email, all these things will be collected in this account, account object. In the contact object, his personal details, his contacting details, his name, his phone number, his email, his mailing address, all these things will be collected in the contact object. In this opportunity object, how much business we did the we did with that particular lead? How much business we did with that particular customer will be stored in this particular opportunity? Let's say if he brought, if he buy uh, two laptops and one uh, one keyboard and one mouse, so all the data, all this uh, four data will be stored in this opportunity object. Okay, okay. If you go to a supermarket, if you buy one kilo onion, one kilo tomato, one kilo ginger uh, like that, so so all this business, so. With you, with you, that supermarket has uh, this much of business. So this much of business happened with you. So that kind, that that much of business will be stored in the opportunity object. So what amount of business was happened with you will be stored in this particular opportunity object. Okay, okay. So up to here we have done with sales. So we have launched a product. And we have promoted the product, and we got some leads from that from the campaigns. After after uh, after getting the leads, we have called to that particular leads, and they have converted into customers. So until he get he, he buy our product, he will be our lead only. After buying the product only, he'll get it. He gets converted as a customer. Okay. In uh, we call account as a customer also. Okay. We call account as a customer also. Okay. So these are all the objects. That means campaign is an object in Salesforce. This lead is an object in Salesforce. Account is an object in Salesforce. Contact is also an object. Object and opportunity is also an object. Okay. Object is nothing but a table that stores data. Okay. Until here, we are completed with our sales. So doing sales does our business over. No, we have to provide the service. We have to provide the service. So then only we'll get more customers. Okay, without providing the services, our business will be fall one day. Fall gets false one day. So sales is not the important thing. Service is the important thing. So, so this lead is now our customer now. So he has a problem with the laptop, some keyboard. In the laptop, he has a problem with keyboard. So again, this particular lead will contact the Dell company. So I have a problem with the laptop, which I brought uh, yesterday or uh, the day before yesterday. So the, in that particular laptop, uh, I have problem with keyboard. So they they might be they might be contacting in email they might be contacting phone they might be contacting some other ways so physically they might be contact so how they contact and what is their problem those things will be stored in the case object case object okay so how they contact the company or customers or customer services. How they contact and what is their problem? All these things will be stored in this particular case object. So they raise a case. Okay, they'll raise a case. Okay, so after getting that problem, this company have to provide some solution. This Dell company has to provide some solution. So this solution will be stored in the solution object. Solution object. Okay. If they are happy with the solution, if the with, if they are happy with their customer services, the customer will give the feedback. Yeah, right. So that feedback will be stored in feedback object. Okay. And we also have some kind of knowledge, knowledge object, 
and many other objects but that's not uh, those are not mandatory okay okay so this is business process this is the continuous process you first you launch a product and you have to promote it and you get some leads from the campaign and that leads will be that leads will be converted into customers in how many ways the lead gets converted in the sales force three ways account opportunity contact so in three ways the leads gets converted okay so after the business has done after the sales has been done so the customer uh, might have some problems with the product so we have to provide the services to that particular customer so they will raise a case in that case we have the what is the problem in what way he have uh, contacted us so all these things will be showed in this particular case object and will uh, the company will provide the solution that that solution will be showed in this solution object and they will give some feedback regarding this the customer service okay customer, regarding the customer service they will give some feedback so uh, i am happy with the customer service or i am not happy with the customer service in that way they will give the feedback so those kind of things will be stored in this feedback object okay <clears throat> right up to here your time see the same thing uh, run here fine so first dell company launches a product marketing and get leads that leads get converted into account contact opportunity and service providing the services case and solution okay so these campaign and leads that comes under marketing cloud marketing cloud i said we have different products marketing cloud sales cloud service cloud okay like that these campaign and leads objects will comes under the marketing cloud and this lead account contact and opportunity will comes under sales cloud okay this case and solutions and feedbacks knowledge all these things will comes under service cloud okay if someone ask you uh, in which cloud you are working in your project which you have to say sales and service cloud okay sales cloud and service cloud we have many other clouds like the community cloud commerce cloud okay so in community clouds we can we can develop uh, these social media kind of applications okay in commerce cloud we can develop uh, shopping related applications like amazon shopping flipkart those kind of applications can be developed by developed in using commerce cloud and community cloud okay so these are the different products of sales force marketing cloud sales cloud service cloud e-commerce cloud einstein collaborative cloud collaborative means community cloud okay these are all the different products of the sales force so if someone ask you to explain the business process you have you have to explain in this way okay like a business owner will launch a, a business will a company will launch a product and they want to promote their product first how can they get the product they promote in many ways like advertisements theater advertisements hoardings posters pamphlets in you know, all these things they can promote so all these promotions will be stored in the campaign object and from these campaigns they will get a lead they will get the leads they will get the leads those leads information will be stored in the lead object and if the lead buys the product then he will be converted into account contact opportunity okay so in account we store the details of the company company where he works where he or she works 
those details will be stored in the account object okay in contact object we store the details of that particular customer what is his name what is his uh, contact in email contact in phone contact in address all these things will be stored in the contact object okay so in opportunity we store how much business we did with that particular person all these things will be stored in the opportunity object okay so then after selling our product if the customer gets problem with our product he'll contact the customer service of our company so how he contacted and what is the what is the problem he has in that the product will be stored in the case object and we have to provide some solution for that okay that solution will be stored in the solution object okay if uh, in some cases we have relevant questions in that cases uh, we can develop faqs frequently asked questions so that kind of uh, things will be also be stored in the knowledge of okay knowledge of the frequent questions and frequent answers will be there right knowledge object and we also have uh, einstein bots bots you know bots no bots don't know bots no sir automatic cons automatically it answers you know siri and uh, in if you open banking application uh, uh, some of the person like uh, in the top of the in the bottom of the page will ask uh, chat with me i i can help you yes. so those are the bots bots so in those they store the frequent question and answers okay so that uh, that kind of things can be done, done in einstein bots okay in salesforce we have a product called einstein bots okay so that's about business process if you have any queries related to business process let me know and i asked you to go through with the sandboxes features and develop uh, i mean editions have anyone gone through those things what are the edition features we have in uh, for particular editions what are the features that was providing the salesforce for particular sandbox what are the features we have all those things i will go on through this no yes so have you prepared any kind of uh, document in developer edition what are the features we have in unlimited edition what are the features we have yeah today so uh, if i give you a task uh, please uh, make it as a document please please make it as a document uh, in ms word okay please make it as a document and please forward that i will provide you the email so to that uh, email you can send those documents okay okay right so business process what are the things we have campaign lead on on approach is solution 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 and feedback and feedback okay what is a campaign in a campaign what we store for that what is the object object is nothing but a table Let me log into Salesforce once, and I'll show you the objects also. So, what is the credential to log in into production? Login dot Salesforce. Login dot Salesforce. What sandbox? Yes, sir. Test dot Salesforce. <laughs> So in tomorrow's session, I'll uh, let you know about uh, this how to create this developer edition. Okay, I'll show you in tomorrow's class.
so these are all the objects see here yeah? account contacts opportunity contracts ordering food <coughs> cases solutions okay so we have two kinds of ui in salesforce classic and lightning experience okay classic and lightning experience we have two kinds of ui ui means user interface okay so what you are seeing is nothing but a ui so lightning is the latest version classic is the older older version okay so to develop classic pages we use visual force programming okay to develop lightning pages we use aura component or lws lightning web component okay so in our sessions we'll discuss about aura component okay we use aura component to develop the lightning pages okay see here these are all the objects see in account i'll create a account today i'll create click on new see here these are all the columns account name is a column parent account is a column account number is a column account site is a column these fields the data i want to provide that means it is a row it is a row one row is nothing but one record one row is nothing but one record in salesforce okay in a table see here in a table here i am providing the data like let's say for example my data phone number some email email dot Address Malapur. See, in this table, in this table, so these are the columns. In these columns, we have given the what kind of data you want to collect. What kind of data? Like I want to collect the name of the customer. I want to collect the phone number of the customer. I want to collect the email of the customer. I want to collect the address of the customer. Okay, okay. So for these columns, we are providing data. We are providing the data. so this rows can be called as a record in salesforce this rows can be called as record records this columns can be called as fields fields okay record okay each row will be called as a record okay each column can be called as field so okay in table we got it now so in salesforce how it will be see here these are the columns account name is the column parent account is the column account number is the column account site is the column okay for this particular fields okay for this particular fields we are providing the data we are providing the data see here i'll give some account name as tcs tcs order so see here you are seeing the star mark star mark is nothing but this is the required field required field required column we have to provide compulsory we have to provide the data for it before uh, if you are not providing data for this particular field it shows error see complete this field okay See your record itself. So only I have given the account name. Okay. So you got the difference between columns and rows. That means fields and uh, records. Okay. See, this is the list view. Okay. The same way you see it in the table: account name, account site, phone, 
this is the account owner alias okay in the account under account name you have given the name of the account and you have give your uh, website phone number alias alias name okay so this same as your table same as your table so object is nothing but table to store the data see here i have said in the previous class in the beginning session salesforce gives us some ready made application this service application marketing application community application salesforce starter all these things will have given by salesforce ready made we can make use of it or we can also do customizations in those particular applications okay if i open service application see cases reports dashboards okay i have modified it uh, that's why it's showing the courses here okay i have modified this particular application we call this as tabs we call this as tabs okay application is nothing but combination of tabs combination of tabs is called application in salesforce combination of tabs is called application if, if someone ask you what is an application in salesforce application is called a combination of tabs okay these are all the tabs what you are seeing in your ui these are all the tabs these tabs gets assigned with object object no clarity i'm using okay so we see this in the tomorrow's class so that we can get more clarity about it. okay i said uh, this is a object some table is a object to make visible this table in the ui of your application it gets assigned to a tab tab is just for ui purpose okay tab is just for ui purpose tab is just for ui purpose okay this objects gets gets assigned to the tab and that tab will be keep in the ui of your application okay to access that particular object you assign it to a tab okay object is assigned to the tab to make it visible in your application okay uh, this much we can remember so in the coming classes you get much, much clarity about it. okay so okay i'll show it in two years class only how to create the developer edition so what is the url what is the url developer developer.salesforce.com to create your developer edition okay i have one more option to create salesforce edition login not salesforce sorry see here here you have another option try for free if you click here it is a trial version it will be free for 30 days okay but you get the all the options in unlimited edition all the all the options we have in unlimited edition that that features will be available in this trial free trial free trial or but it will be limited for only 30 days so you people don't create this okay you people don't create this don't click here don't click here try for free go to login.salesforce don't click here okay just go to developer.salesforce.com developer.salesforce.com here you can find sign up sign up see provide your name what or oh, so march batch right march 2020 email address hello so developer you are all the developers right developers is nothing but both admin part and development part like both configuration and customization you have to know okay so administrator administrator only requires the configuration part so in salesforce we have two parts like configuration and customization 
So developer needs to know both the things. Administrator can have knowledge on only top configuration. This So you also give the same things, okay? But it's a different first name, last name, and email. So username has to be unique. Okay, username has to be unique. I will make like the March at the rate of this. Okay. Username must be unique. Okay, but it is, it will be in the same uh, same format like the uh, at the rate and uh, dot com is must and should. Okay. Okay, so a email will be sent to the email address which you have provided. So in that email, you can in that mail you get the verify account link. So you, from there you can set your password. Then it states then get the mail. Okay, uh, you do follow the same process. Okay, you will get a mail after this for the email address you have provided. In that mail, you have an option called verify account. On clicking that uh, verify account, you can set your password. After setting your password, how can you log in log into your org by using uh, yes by using login dot salesforce.com by using that url you can log in into your Salesforce. so the username which you have given while uh, signing up that must be the same username you have to provide here and password uh, from your uh, mail address mail mail id you get a mail to that particular mail uh, what you have provided so there you get the verify account button and clicking on that verify account it asks for uh, password set password so that password you have to provide here okay uh, if you have any kinds of doubts related to this uh, creating a developer edition, uh, you can let, you can ask me in the tomorrow session. Or uh, they haven't created the group, right? No. So you can ask me in tomorrow session. Okay. It's an easy process. Not a, not that much difficult. Okay. Create on. Yeah. Yeah, we got. It. See here, verify account. This is the username, right? I have provided there. Verify account. Password must have special characters and numbers also. Alphabet, special characters, numbers. All must be included. Yeah, that's it. I have created a developer edition. See, this is the app launcher. App launcher. Okay, we have all the ready made apps, and all our objects will be seen here. What are the objects we have in Salesforce? All the objects will be seen here. And what are the applications we have in our org? All these applications we can see here. You can see here. Okay. So in the coming classes, we also create the custom apps. We also create the custom. You can also create the custom objects. Okay, all these things you are seeing the we are going to see in the coming classes. Okay, so that's for today. If you have any queries related, uh, 
business process and sandboxes, Salesforce services, and for creating this developer edition. Please let me know. No doubts. People in the online. No doubts. So I expect you to create this developer edition by tomorrow. Can I expect that? Yes, sir. So by tomorrow, everyone should create the developer edition. So by tomorrow, we start working on the org. That means our Salesforce org manage. Record type objects. Record type? Objects. Record type objects. Record types. In objects, we have record types. We don't have record type objects. In the arrows have to be records. Record. Record types. Record types. Record types or record types objects? Those are record types. Record types. Okay. Record in objects we have record types. We'll discuss on in the coming classes. You will you'll get know about the record types. Okay. Page layouts, record types, and formula fields, fields, relationships, security features, users, process profiles, builder. process builder. It is uh, for automating the process, automating something. Okay, if you want to send emails, depends upon, uh, see, uh, on your birthday, you'll, you'll get the messages, you'll get the email, happy birthday to you. Yeah, how it's generated, automated. So these kind of things can be done with the process builder workflows, flows. Okay. Anything else? No? So who will share the document to me? By end of the day, I need the document. Developer edition features, you can share. So, to this email, you can share. Pavan.swiss at the rate of gmail. Sandboxes, we'll share. Hi, sir. I have only a video link, sir, but not get a drive, sir. Oh. You have only access to particular one video, so you need the drive access. Yes, sir. So uh, the person who sends that uh, particular video link, you ask him. Okay, you ask him her or her. Oh, He'll oh. share. Uh, they will share the whole drive access. Okay. Okay, okay, sir. Hmm. Any queries? Yes, sir. 